Oh, hey y'all, come on in. This is my eBay room. Let's do some shipping today. Okay, we're gonna start with eBay. So once I open up this seller hub on eBay, I'm going to go to orders, awaiting shipment. And so the first one I have here is the Masters logo t-shirt, got polo shirt. And so I have it set aside here. I actually already did some work ahead of time where I packaged it into these clear poly mailers. And so it's all ready to go. This is the correct one. And so I have that and then I have a poly mailer to put that in. And I always include what we have made as our pre-made thank you notes. And this just tells them that, you know, we're not a large business, it's just a husband and wife business. And um, please leave uh, positive feedback after they receive their item, if they like it. That will help our business on eBay. So I put that in there. And once it's packaged up, what we have to do is weigh it. Weighing it lets us know how much our shipping is going to cost. So a polo shirt says 8.8 .8 ounces. I'll round up. It's going to be 9 ounces. And so from this screen, I click on print shipping label. It's raining outside. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Good grief. Okay, and on this part is where I enter the weight. And so in ounces, I said nine ounces. And I know the dimensions of this poly bag. It's a 10 by 13 bag. And by the way, a 10 by 13 bag really works for most of our shipments. An eight by 11 or a 10 by 13 is your most useful bags. And this will tell me how much my shipping is going to be. All right, it does qualify for first class. And I'm going to click purchase and print label. All right, after I click pay now that I agreed to pay that amount for shipping. It automatically opens the label and I'm going to choose my Dymo Label Writer printer. Press print. I have a Holly Miller ready to stick on the label and this one is all ready to go. Three more left. Okay, so I have the shorts here that Jody got out for me. So I like to fold them in something that would fit into the poly mailer easily, the right size. And I use tissue paper because it makes it look a little bit prettier. I don't go through too much trouble in making the items really pretty like some people do on Poshmark. They wrap it in ribbons and things like that and I'm just not that fancy. So we will just wrap this up. Make it a nice package for when people receive their item. We have our poly mailer. I like the green ones here because you know it's good for if it's an item for a female or a male, either one. Put in our thank you notes. All right, now it's time to weigh it. Okay, 9.8. So we're going to round that up to 10 ounces. So let's get our package ready here on eBay. So I'm going to enter 10 ounces. And again, the dimensions of that is 10 by 13. Press update. It tells me how much my shipping will be and it qualifies for first class. So purchase and print label. And this one isn't going too far, it's going to Texas. Okay, I've agreed to pay the shipping amount, and now it's going to bring up our label. Press print. Mm -hmm. 
peel off the sticker. Two down, two to go. All right, but the next purchases that we're going to be shipping off is actually from um, Poshmark. We finished our eBay. So you actually go to your email to get your Poshmark label. That's where you're going to be emailed the label that you're going to be printing out. And so I'm going to go open that. And Poshmark makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to weigh your item. Poshmark has a, a flat amount is charged for shipping. So I don't have to try to get my shipping easier. Uh, I don't have to try to get my shipping cheaper. It is what it is. So I just have to print out my label. Okay, so let's go get our items for Poshmark. In this closet over here, I have some items. And I did buy some things wholesale. And so I have several of the same things. And so this is where those items are. And that skirt that I sold was a size small. Okay, that'll be this skirt. And I sold this purse. So let's get ready to ship these items. So I did have a wholesale business that I bought um, several brand new items to sell. So I sell those on Poshmark and eBay. It takes longer to sell brand new things as opposed to use things for some reason. But like you see, I just have one more of these left after this. And so they've been going. It's a very nice skirt. I thought it would have went faster than that, but it is what it is. Let's use some nice hot pink tissue paper. So it's almost like they get a present. Okay. And I have a pink poly mailer also. Thank you note. All right, let's print out our label. So the next item is a purse. So they don't fit in poly mailers. So let's go find us a box that will fit this purse along with any padding I'm putting around it. Let's go see what I have. I think this might work. And I think it's a little treat for people because they're actually, you know, since we own a donut shop, we buy boudin in bulk. And this is a boudin box. <laughs> so imagine people up north getting things from that held boudin. They probably wouldn't even know what it is. They'd be like, oh, what's this? Let's tape this up and we'll have a little practice run through to see if it fits. purse on the inside of it already so that keeps it kind of full but I think I'm going to put some paper inside of it to keep its shape and then I'm going to wrap it with some of our bubble wrap we got this box of bubble wrap that it's really lasted us a while but it's easy because it comes in sheets. So I can choose how much I think I need and just tear it off. Okay, I think I need more to wrap the opposite direction.
like to do is put in the boxes these um, sheets of almost, almost like newspaper paper, which I can see I need more of. Let's find the bottom with that. That's good. This is a good thing. And it's just a purse. It's not breakable. So that's going to work. At this point, I want to go ahead and put in our thank you note. And I just slide it on the side. I think that fits quite well. All right, let's seal it up. back to my email all right I have this ready to go and you know what I forgot I have another package I sold I forgot about that and that will be some shoes so let's go into my other eBay room and we'll get those shoes follow me so we have a bonus room in our house. We thought we was just going to use it for kids to play in when they came over or for us just to watch movies up here. But it's actually come, has come in quite useful because I've kind of grown out of the little room. It just got too cramped. I got too many things. So recently we bought these shoe racks here. It holds 50 pairs of shoes each. And so I have a few more that's still in the other closet that I need to put here. But they're lightweight and they were $25, I think. And so I'm loving this. So the next thing I need to get is to, I need to find the shoes I sold, which are these sandals here. As you notice, I also have moved up here some of the clothing racks and um, that just helps everything have a place for hanging things. So um, some people on Poshmark and eBay, they're so organized and I envy that. But that's my goal. I'm going to really organize the shoes and my rack so I can really find what I want easier. Early I came up here to find something to ship off and it took me a while to find it. But that's my own fault. <laughs> All right, let's ship off the shoes. All right, we have our sandals here. I do have shoe boxes for bigger shoes, but I've realized that sandals don't need to go in a huge shoe box. What they can go in is a large mailer that it's a bubble padded mailer. And so if I wrap them up, I put them in the padded mailer and it's fine like that. I like to package each shoe separately. I do that with tennis shoes, heels, anything. I roll them up separately. Sometimes for heels that will keep them from scratching each other. These are a really cute pair of sandals. Whoever got these, they have something nice. Print out the label. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video today. It's all about our shipping here at the Do Sets for our eBay and our Poshmark business. Shipping is one of my most favorite parts of reselling, besides the shopping, of course. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. You got a little sneak peek into some of the products that I use for shipping. And so, what I'm going to do is go ahead and link them down below. But we are going to have a, f a future video about the products that we use for shipping and also for our photography, like the lighting and things like that. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. Let us know you liked the video. And also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in future videos.